All right, we are now being joined by Justin Gonzalez. Once again, we'll begin with a few questions from our media. Abraham, your line is now live. Hey, Justin, I'm Abraham from the Fightly Report. I saw online you predicted a round two or round three TKO over Claxton. What makes you so confident, especially since he's a, a veteran of Bellator? Man, if you saw the things I was doing in my camp, you saw the lifestyle I'm living, you'd know why I'm so confident as well. All right, Luke. Hey, Justin. Luke from Empire University. And good to see you again. Good to see you, brother. Good to hear from you. So, I mean, looking at Taiwan, what do you think? What what's your what's your opinion about Taiwan and how would it feel to get a big finish over a veteran like him? Yo, Ty Taiwan's tough, man. Like I said uh, in our interview, he's really good at what he does, man. He's gonna bring it. He's very explosive. He has some cool knockouts. Um, it'd feel great to get a win over him. A win over him should put me in the rankings. Bellator, I'd like to be in the rankings, man. It just uh, kind of puts a milestone in my career where uh, I start climbing, and then it lets the rest of these guys in that ranking system, my hit list, um, lets them know who I am, lets them know I'm here, and I'm for real. So it'd be huge. It'd be huge for me. Good luck on Friday night. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Maria? Hi, Justin. Maria Morales with Throwing Bows Podcast. Coming into this, first off, welcome to Bellator. Uh, coming into this and coming in with an undefeated record, as well as a spectacular finish of Jake Childers in your last F LFA fight. Uh, what is more important to you? Maintaining that record and obviously, you know, climbing in the standings or just really making a statement in your first Bellator fight? That's a good question, you know, um, tough question to answer, really. Both, both are very important, you know. I mean, in this game, I want to fight tough opponents. I want to fight the best. In order to be the best, you got to beat the best. So along that journey, man, you might take some tumbles, but as long as you keep your mind right and come back stronger, um, you're growing. I have goals to be the best in the world and the best to ever do it, ever. So uh, in order to do that, I want to fight these high-level guys. I've never fought a chump. I don't want to fight tomato cans. I'm not sitting here padding my record. I want to be the best in the world. In order to do that, like I said, I got to beat the best. So uh, both. I want to make a statement. I want to make a statement that I'm here. I ain't here to fuck around. I'm here for real. So uh, keeping my O and uh, getting a stoppage in this fight would do both, I believe. And you mentioned that you want to be the best. And, you know, obviously a lot of fighters have that goal. What about Justin Gonzalez is different and will, you know, help you get to the point where you are indeed the best? You know, to be honest, uh, I feel I am the best 145er in the world. Now I get the opportunity to show it. Um, like I answered to somebody earlier, man, you guys got to see what I'm doing in this camp. Man, I ain't messing around. I got some great partners pushing me. I got the best jujitsu guys. I got the best wrestlers. Um, I'm going up to elevation and running, man. I'm putting my body through some stuff that normal people wouldn't do. So I think that's what separates me is I'm willing to go to those dark places that others aren't. Curtis? Hey, Justin. This is Curtis Calhoun with Low Kick MMA. How's it going, man? Good, brother. Good. Good to hear from you. Good to talk to you again. Hey, I got the chance to uh, sit down with you for an interview last week to talk about your road to Bellator. Uh, when you look back at your journey, how are you feeling just a few days out from your Bellator debut? Man, it's been a fun journey. I'm very blessed, man. I, I love what I do. I, I get glorified for beating the shit out of people. Please excuse my language. It's fun. I'm very blessed. Um, I've worked very hard for this since I was a little boy and Thinking about the journey, man, I didn't have my eyes set on being this glorified fighter. And then uh, from my first fight, I fell in love with the sport and uh, never looked back. So being where I am, this is already a win. But like I said, man, I got my eyes set on bigger goals. So, uh, yeah, the sky's the limit for me. Thanks, Justin. Thank you. Michael? Hey, Justin, how are you? I'm doing great, brother. How are you? 
everything good here in Puerto Rico, sir. Thank you very much yeah. for your time. I wanted to ask you how important for you as a fighter it is to maintain your undefeated record more than, you know, as a fighter for your legacy inside the MMA industry. Uh, you, you know, having that O is really cool. I think it's a really uh, powerful tool. It really uh, helps uh, promote me as a fighter, as a person, I guess. Um, but, you know, like I said earlier, man, I, I'm here to fight the best. I want to beat everybody who stands in front of me. And sometimes in that journey, man, little crazy stuff happens. So I'm not afraid to take an L, but, yo, I'm here to fuck some people up. So I'm here for real. So on that journey, I plan on keeping it, man. It's going to take a bad motherfucker to take that from me. And what's your opinion on Bellator as an organization and how, what's how's been your experience so far with them? Uh, this being my first experience, man, everybody's been real cool, man. Everybody's been really accommodating, making sure all my needs are taken care of. I'm very blessed, man. Thank these guys. These guys are professional. They handle their business extremely, extremely well. And uh, they're about the fighters. So I'm very happy to be here. Ryan? How's it going, Justin? Ryan from KSMMA. How you doing? I'm doing great, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, so you're making your Bellator debut here on Friday. You know, how excited are you to go out there and put on a show for a much bigger platform than where you at were before? Man, uh, I, I am. I am pumped. I'm ecstatic. I'm very blessed. I'm sitting in a great opportunity, a great position. Man, it's it's been a long layoff. I haven't fought for uh, just under a year. So. Uh, I'm I'm pumped to be back, man. I'm ready to make a statement. I'm how else can I say it, bro? I'm ready to do this already. Thank you, man, and good luck on Friday. Thank you very much. All right, we'll take a couple more here. Jeff. Yes, Jeff Brantley here from the Man in the Cage podcast. Justin, you seem extremely comfortable going into your first Bellator fight here. Obviously, you've fought on LFA, you fought on the contender series. Uh, what can fans expect that haven't seen you fight? Uh, what can they expect to see from you if they haven't seen you fight yet Friday night after they see you step in the Bellator cage for the first time? Yo, uh, expect some excitement, man. I'm going to push the pace on this guy. I'm a, I'm a very smart fighter. I like to think uh, whatever tools I got to whip out to get the job done, that's what I'm going to do. If I got to be a gangster, get a little mean with this guy, then so be it. If I got to be more methodical, more stylistically inclined, piece him up a little bit, I'll do it. You know, if I got to whip out, um, if I got to whip out my wrestling, we want to make it a wrestling match. I'm fine with that. You want to try to go jujitsu and start grappling? Cool. I'm more than ready. I got, I'm well-rounded. I got it all. So wherever you want to go, man, let's do this. Thanks, Justin. No problem. All right. Last one here. Ronald. This is Ron E. Smith from Getting Real. Justin, you just talked about it's been a long layoff before you got before this fight coming up. So how has training been for you? And how do you not allow the feeling of the anticipation of this fight and the excitement of being here get get to you? Man, this is just another day doing what I do, bro. I've had 20 flights, 20 fights in, under my belt. I've wrestled since I was a little boy. I've been on big stages in the college wrestling scene, been on big stages in the MMA world. This is just another day doing what I do, bro. I'm blessed to be here. I'm happy to be here. I visualized this since I was an amateur, man. So uh, obviously I'd be lying if I didn't have a little anxiety to get in there and get this done and just go do it already. But that's all part of the game, man. If you can see me, I got a big old smile on my face. I'm happy to be here. I'm enjoying the ride. All right, Justin, thanks for the time and good luck on Friday. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me.